the Art Lab in a Box. Today we are going to be making some symmetry bug paintings. Uh, symmetry means the same on both sides, which I'm going to show you. So go ahead and get out your glitter bugs container and your paint palette and your water and maybe your extra glue actually. All right, have a nice clean space and press play when you're ready to start. Okay, so what we need inside this box is our paint palette. We need a little cup of water for painting, our paintbrush. I think this one is found in your Caterpillar puppet bag, um, or you can use your paintbrushes at home, or there's one in the paint palette, but I don't think it's the best brush, so I like to include another one. You need that. You need your glue. It comes with the glue. I have two glues. You never know if you're gonna run out of glue. You wanna make sure you have enough. You have your glue, you have this container of gold glitter, and then we have three pieces of watercolor paper that have been folded in half. One, two, three. Okay, so this is everything you need. Make sure you've got everything ready and a place to dump your glitter. Um, and yeah, that's it. So get everything out that you need. Oh, I'm sorry, a pencil. You need a pencil or a marker, a pen, anything, so that we can trace the outline of what we're doing. I'm gonna use a pencil and a marker to make sure you can see it in the camera. Um, but yeah, so go and get that and press play when you're ready to start. Okay, the first thing we are going to work on is doing our symmetry paintings. So you're gonna wanna open up your card like that and flatten it out and you'll see how there's like a nice line down the middle where the fold was that is going to be the middle part okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw half of a drawing on this side we're gonna trace it in glue and then we're gonna fold it to get glue on both sides if you don't know what I mean by that let me just show you the first bug we are going to do is going to be a butterfly so here we go. I'm just gonna draw, you don't need to draw this line. I'm just doing it just so you can see better in the camera of what I'm gonna be doing, okay? So to start off with our butterfly, we are gonna start at the top, leaving a bit of space, and we're gonna do a half circle like that. If it's a bit bigger, that's fine. If it's smaller, that's fine. Let's just go with the flow on this, okay? So go ahead and add that. I'm gonna go slow so you can follow along with me. And the next thing we want to add is an antenna. So a line going up with a small circle on top. Okay. So go ahead and do your half circle here, a line and a circle. Okay, feel free to pause at any time. If I'm going too fast for you, I'm gonna to try to go slow. Okay, now I'm gonna do a, another half oval shape Kind of like that. It's almost like a J shape going down. And then I'm gonna do another one like that. And then I'm just gonna do a little line point like that. Okay, and if you just do one line down, you guys are gonna see it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It can look however you want it to. Okay, and now we're gonna do the wings. So we wanna do two wings like this. So making sure we have enough room, do it any shape you like. Mine's gonna look kind of like this. And then my second wing is gonna look like this. Simple, okay, you guys see that? So I've done half of a butterfly over here. And then if you want, you can do like little legs. Butterflies have little legs, but it's up to you. You could just leave it plain. Okay, so that is my butterfly. I'm gonna move that to the side. And then I'm gonna get another one. And this one is going to be a spider. So if you wanna decide to do different bugs or whatever you want, actually, you can do it however you want. This is just what I'm gonna do. Now I'm going to do a spider. I'm going to do the spider head like this. And I'm going to do four circles because spiders have eight eyes, I believe. Sometimes more, maybe. 
but I'm just gonna do mine like that. And then I'm gonna add another big circle for the body. Lots of spiders look different. This is just the one I'm doing. Okay, so you wanna do like a D shape like this. And then we're gonna wanna do eight legs. One, or I'm sorry, we wanna do four legs because when we do the other side, four times two is gonna be eight. So you're gonna wanna do four legs. Okay, you can just do lines like that or you can add more detail. It's up to you. We're gonna be tracing this with glue after. So you're gonna see how difficult it actually is to be tracing with glue. It's not gonna turn out perfect. So we're just gonna do like a rough sketch. Okay, and now I have my spider done. Go ahead, press pause, take your time drawing your half of the spider. All right, and then we're gonna move on to our next bug. If you have something that you wanna make that you're not seeing me do, well, you can go ahead and do that, okay? You can make an ant, you can make whatever bug is like symmetry. Even a dragonfly could be cool, but what I'm gonna do for this last one is a beetle. Okay, so for my beetle, I'm gonna do little piece like that okay that's gonna be the head and then I'm gonna do a big round body like this and then before I get to the end here I'm actually gonna go up like that so it's kind of at an angle and then I'm gonna take a line and go back like that Okay, I hope that wasn't too confusing. Well, like I said, anything that you do would really, really turn out cool once you do the symmetry. And then I'm gonna add on three legs, because this is only half of the bug. However you want. And there we go, I have my half of my beetle. So I have a beetle, I have a spider, and I have a butterfly. All right, so go ahead and finish your half prints and press play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, for this next part, we are going to need our glue and our glitter in our paper. So what we wanna do is we wanna open our glue up. Let's make sure there's no blocker in it. Yes, there is a blocker. A lot of times these glues have these little pieces in them so they don't leak or dry out. So I take that off, in the garbage lid back on make sure it's nice and tight and then you want to unscrew this part until there's a hole there and now we are just gonna trace all of the lines with our glue if it kind of spills out and gobs all over well that's okay it'll just be a little bit loopy but to get it good you're just gonna slowly squeeze it you don't have to squeeze it too hard and you're just gonna trace your lines as best as you can. These are not meant to look perfect. Just trace all of your lines. You don't need to trace the pencil one I did down the middle. Like I said, I was just doing that so that you guys could see it. Okay. I've covered mine now I just want to do some like little designs in the middle you can add these if you want you can do polka dots you can do lines you can do shapes I'm just gonna use my imagination and do whatever shapes I feel like all right so once you have put all of your glue all over you're gonna press okay so you can go ahead press pause add on your glue and press play when you're ready for the next step all right, here we go. Now, I'm gonna fold it back the same way it came. So it kind of came like a card. Now I'm gonna fold it back and I'm gonna press down lightly, not too hard, just making sure the two papers touch. And then I'm gonna open it back up. And now there's a butterfly shape on both sides, okay? So once you've done this step, 
Okay, I'm gonna decide to put something underneath mine, like a cookie tray or a paper or something so that glitter doesn't spill everywhere. We're gonna open our glitter carefully. Better make sure we let our adults or whoever's supervising you, let them know you're gonna be using glitter so maybe they can help you open. Okay, and now I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it back and forth and slowly let it go off the edge and cover the whole thing in glitter. I'm gonna use all of the glitter like this, trying to get it mostly on my card, or my drawing, I should say, just like that. Okay, and if there's still some glue spots that you didn't quite get to, you can just pick up your card and kind of move it around to shake the, the glitter on it. And once it's all covered, you want to take your container, you want to fold it together, give it some little taps, and you want to pour the glitter back into your container. Tap it. And there you go. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. All right, so there we go. I have my first one. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint them, but we have to wait for them to dry. So I'm gonna put this off to the side, dry. So go ahead, press pause, add your glue, flip your page over to get it on both sides, fold it up like a card, add your glitter, get your glitter off, and then get ready to do your next one. All right, press play when you're ready. Okay, now I'm gonna do mine. As you can see, the glue got like really squished, so don't worry about getting it too perfect. It's just kind of supposed to be like the shadow. If you have other glitters in your house or from past boxes that you wanna use, feel free to use those. So there I go, I added that. It's gonna fold it not squish it too much open it back up now we have a spider shape on both sides and repeat the pattern again using your glitter getting it all over it back into the container trying to save as much as you can so that you have enough for your other projects if you take it off and like you notice you missed a spot just pour a little more on there tapping it back in I'm gonna tap it here and there we go we have my fabulous spider I love it okay and then the last one is going to be our beetle so go ahead, press pause. You can work on all of yours until all of them are finished and glittery. And I cannot wait to see what it looks like. And there we go. This is looking so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so once you have all of your beautiful golden glittery artworks, now we just have to wait for them to dry for a little bit. If you really don't wanna wait, we can paint them while they're wet. You'll just have to be super careful. All right, so go ahead and get that ready for painting. Okay, once everything is dry, or if it's not dry, you just have to be really careful. It's time to paint. So you can use your paintbrush and your water to add color to your designs. I'm gonna start with purple, my favorite color. And the key is to add a lot of water to your color. If you just get it wet and rub it like two times and you go to paint, it's gonna be really light. So you wanna make sure you get it fully saturated with water and you keep getting your paintbrush really, really wet. Keep dipping it back in that water so it's nice and full. And then you can just add some color in. To your artwork. There's no right or wrong way to do this. 
you just kind of go with the flow and add in color where you want. You can add it in the background if you want. You can add it just in the middle. You can add just the background, whatever you want to do. Just add a little color to your artwork. Okay, so go ahead, press pause, take your time, put on some music that you like maybe, maybe some other videos that you like, and just enjoy painting in all of your beautiful artwork and press play when you're all done. Mine are all finished. They are drying in the sun right now. And I am so excited to hang them up. They look so good and so sparkly. My artwork is all dry now. It's looking beautiful. You could frame them if you wanted. I love them so much. These were so fun to make. I love using glitter. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>